Judy how you doing okay I've got your your uh, business card up and I see that um, you've got this big thick uh, um, frame around your work which kind of is, is forcing your work towards the middle it's also creating a lot of sharp edges and different areas of continuation that I'm not real sure you want you want the designer you want the viewer to, to concentrate on what is the important thing and that's your logo and your information so that's so so sure I agree about framing it in like that now graphic designer shouldn't I, okay, you got Judy Taylor. That's your logo, graphic designer. And then you have Judy Taylor again. Do you need it again since, do you see what I'm saying? Unless, you know, if you're an independent graphic designer, you wouldn't need it again. If this was something like Judy Taylor Studios and you were a designer that worked for Julie Stater, Julie Taylor Studios, then that would be a different thing. But since this is personal branding, I wouldn't recommend placing your, um, I wouldn't recommend placing your, um, uh, uh, name there so it's just redundant you're doing it twice now what I would recommend doing is is um, not centering your type it's it's not very interesting uh, center type it never is never was and it just isn't considered to be a very interesting way to center to um, present typography unless of course it's a wedding invitation or something like that so I would reconsider the layout of this maybe considering some left alignment um, you know that right now you're, you're you're there's so many visual stops I would even suggest going like this logo in the middle and then go graphic designer and then do your right alignment right there. Either that or maybe even logo right up there and then your information right there. And that might be a really super interesting relationship. Let's take a look at the letterhead. Letterhead again, you've got these big heavy bars that are kind of blocking you in here. Um, See what I mean? That looks good sitting up there alone. So this this piece looks good. You've got this whole area to work with. Let's go to the lead behind. And then you've got the pillow box. Inside the pillow box, you've got the little um, the little pencil, the zip drive, and and I I wouldn't leave I wouldn't leave this in my portfolio. It it doesn't look good. It's a low resolution image. It just looks like you pasted your logo over a bag of jelly beans. Plus, you don't want to leave jelly. You don't want to ever leave anything edible as a leaf behind. It's just it's a it's a questionable practice. And um, nobody's going to eat anything that somebody who doesn't know left for them. It, it's just, I mean, it's, would you? And and that's the way I look at it. And I've, I quite often, I, I, I recommend that, that you don't leave anything edible in your leave behind package. Other than that, I think you're doing fantastic. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to get with me. Thanks. Good job.